Disclaimer, if you are triggered by divination, astrology, tarot, and worldly discussions, this channel is not for you. Hello guys and welcome back to my channel, Wisdom and Light here, and I am back with another trending topic reading. If you are new to this channel, welcome. Hi, my name is Bianca and welcome to Wisdom and Light, where we do trending topic readings like this one. We do astral readings and whatever that's going on in the cosmos. It's been over three weeks and I am here. I am present. I was able to set up a space where I can shuffle and pull cards for you guys and to just be here. And it feels good to be back. It feels good to say hello. It feels good to give a lot of you a big virtual hug. I hope all is well. I hope you guys have been having a good few weeks. And again, it feels good to be back. But I can't help but say I do feel a little bit nervous. I do feel a little bit overwhelmed to be present. But I have to remember that there's a lot more people that have shown me so much love and so much support and have been defending me every step of the way as I would defend you guys. Y'all already know that. You guys ride for me, I ride for you. I'm showing up for the people that ride for me and I'm showing up for all of you that have been nothing but a huge support system. And it feels good to show up and be present for each and every one of you. And I want to say thank you so much for defending me and showing me so much love around the election season. Now, I don't really have a script on how I want to express my feelings and express how I have been viewing things because I just feel like I've been trying to find the words and I've been restarting this video, re-talking. I've just been not sure on what to say in regards to my feelings and what I've been doing and how I've been processing everything. But what I want to do is express some of my sentiments but also touch base on the reading because this reading is going to be about Elon Musk. A lot of people feel that Elon Musk has something to do with rigging the election. If Elon Musk influence or even rig the election. And that's what this reading is about. A lot of you have been sending me requests on it. So I figured, okay, I will do it. However, my only request is to please be respectful in the comments. We do not have to agree with everything. I'm going to remain as neutral as possible in this reading as I try my best to during political readings because I'm not a fan of politics at all. I wasn't a fan of the candidates. I wasn't a fan of the election as a whole. So I don't really have a bone in that fight. But if you feel very strongly of each candidate, all I'm asking is to please be respectful in the comments and please be courteous and kind to one another. We can all agree to disagree. Remember, these readings are done for entertainment purposes only. They are not factual. It's just energy and energy is subjected to change. Things can change because people can change their mind and it changes and it changes the outcome of the reading. On that note, that's really all that I have to say. And let's get into the reading itself. Did Elon Musk steal the election for Donald Trump? Did Elon Musk steal the election from Donald Trump? We have the Hierophant. We have the Two of Cups Reverse. We have the Emperor. Did Elon Musk steal the election from Donald Trump? For Donald Trump, excuse me. Ace of Cups reverse. Ace of Cups reverse. Knight of Cups upright. Five of Cups upright. And back of the deck energy is the Fool. Even though I don't feel that he went out of his way to cheat the election, it does say that he heavily influenced people's decision. And because he has a lot of power and he has a lot of influence, a lot of people swayed on the side of Donald Trump towards the end. 
And then we also have to look at the Hierophant, the Two of Cups Reverse, and the Emperor. Elon Musk is very interesting. So I'm going to do my best to explain this where this makes sense. Because if we look at it black and white, it looks like Elon Musk influenced a lot of people to swing on his side for Trump to have the upper hand because of the influence that he has. And it can look like it's because he's Republican and he has conservative views and this is how he wants things to be. He stands behind he stands behind a more conservative outlook. That's looking at it black and white. But if we're really going to get to the nitty gritty and get to the root of where Elon Musk is actually coming from, it's beyond Republican and Democrat. That's the thing. I don't even feel that he cares that deeply about politics in the way that a lot of people do. For him, this is more so about pushing a new world order under technology and expanding what that's going to look like. Keep in mind that we are officially in the age of Aquarius. When I did the reading on that, we were in the shadow period of it. And I talked about what we can expect within the next 20 years of Pluto being in Aquarius and how society itself is going to change so fast that it's going to make our head spin by how much everything has evolved, especially with technology. Okay, Understand that because we're in that era now, and this is just the beginning phases of it, Elon Musk stands behind technology being what it needs to be. He stands behind creating more humans for the human race. He stands behind all of this. And he needed to side with Donald Trump that's going to help push the new world order or the vision that he has for everything to be what he wants it to be. So it's not necessarily about Elon Musk stealing votes and he wants Project 2025 to happen. He is so far removed from that. That's not even really his issue or his agenda. His agenda is to expand technology as we know it and be the leading force of the internet and how we're going to be using the internet within the next 20 years. He wants to be the person that creates this new way of showing up on social media. Even when you think about robots and how he is heavily involved in creating robots and heavily involved in encouraging people to really use AI consistently if you think about it, having a robot down the line will look more like having status. If you have a robot in your house cleaning and doing things for you, that's a level of luxury. So it's going to be heavily pushed and Elon Musk wants to be behind that. So he definitely did influence a lot of people of wealth to stand behind him. And he doesn't even care about the money part. He just cares about seeing this actually come to life. He doesn't care about any of those other things that we think that he cares about. Now, the rich may care about it, and he has to push it to them saying, hey, if you vote for him, we can really make a lot of money. We can do this, we can do that. And he knows what to say to get people to do what he wants. All right? So did he go out of his way to burn tickets and to burn votes? Did he do all of that? Not necessarily. He just knew what to say and he knew how to influence people to do what he wanted. And he's going to stand behind the power that be to help him push what he wants to push. Money talks and people want to make more money. So it didn't shock me that Kim Kardashian had a whole photo shoot with a robot. I mean, that goes without saying. This is what I'm talking about. You have to influence the rich to be behind you. You have to influence other people to see where you're coming from. And that's exactly what he did. And he did a very good job of that. The Hierophant can talk about tradition. It can talk about even God in a sense. But with the Two of Cups reverse, it's breaking tradition. It's breaking what we once knew. The Emperor Upright, Ace of Cups, he did not, quote unquote, rig the election in the way people think. 
it, I don't feel that that's what this is. It feels more so I was able to convince a lot of people to see things in my way. I know how to keep my hands clean of things because Ace of Cups is kind of like, I have an offer that you can't refuse. Being reversed, it's kind of under the table. Knight of Cups, this is what you can expect if you choose Donald Trump to be president. And because the Democratic Party was already kind of experiencing scrutiny a little bit, it was so easy for them to kind of sweep in and say, what if we show you that you can be a part of this or you can really make a lot of money if you do this in this way? So he was definitely able to influence the rich to stand behind him, but he doesn't care about the money. He doesn't care about the politics. He doesn't care about any of that shit. What he cares about is pushing this new world order and expanding technology and being behind why technology is going to be what it's gonna be in the next 20 years. He wants to be the face of that. Now, what's weird about this reading is I have the Hierophant, I have the Two of Cups reversed, and I have the Emperor. While I was away in Europe, I was reading an article that the Democratic Party is raising up money as we speak to have a recount. Now, granted, I haven't heard much information regarding that, but there were talks about it while I was traveling. And I did see that a lot of people were asking for a recount. And it's interesting how that came about because even in this reading, we may hear about rumors and murmurs about a recount with the two of cups reversed here and the emperor. Now, the reason why I feel that there's going to be more discussions about having a recount is because two of cups reverse is almost like we're making an agreement on something but the agreement doesn't fall through the decision is not really made and it's not set in stone as to where we're going to go forward as a nation it's been declared that donald trump is the winner of the election however there's something going on where discussions of counting the votes and recounting is going to be a thing now, again, the last reading that I did, I kept seeing a tie and I kept seeing votes being turned in late. Now, even if they do this recount and votes were turned in late, it can still very much so show that Donald Trump is still going to be the president because he just had more votes. He had more going for him around that time. And if they move forward with pushing for this recount, then my prediction will more than likely come true about Donald Trump getting upset and feeling that the Democrats are trying to steal the election and rig it. Now, even though this reading is more about Elon Musk, I do feel that he did not cheat and steal the election in the way that people are saying, but he did influence and money talks with the emperor here. So there was a lot of, hey, I'm going to push this. I'm going to make sure that this happens because if we win, we can really usher in a new beginning. And Elon Musk is going to play a very big role in the technology that we're about to see in the next 20 years. You guys have to remember that Pluto has finally went into Aquarius. So we are officially in the age of Aquarius. We were in the shadow phase of the age of Aquarius, now we're officially here. So because we are officially here, get ready to see robots now more than ever. And even having a robot in your home, having a robot cleaning your space and communicating with the robot will be a symbol of status going forward. Technology is going to be something that we've never seen before. AI is going to be something that we've never seen before. Elon Musk, heavily influenced the election in regards to marketing as and definitely influencing the rich to see the bigger picture. So even though I don't feel that he cheated, he definitely swayed a lot of people last minute. And that's why when I did my last political reading, it was very up and down, up and down, up and down. And because I didn't give so much of a clear answer as to who was going to win exactly. I never really said who, 
My pendulum swung a certain way. My pendulum said Kamala, but it was weird for Trump. That reading itself was still pretty bizarre for me. And I still watch my reading and I still take notes on the things that I did not see. So um, I still, I'm still dissecting that reading to this day. And I don't have a problem doing that because I'm not ashamed of my work. I'm not ashamed of the messages that come in for me and for the people that were discrediting me and really just taking that opportunity to throw tomatoes and stones at me. I just want to personally say this really, really quickly, because if you're going to like whack me, I'm a Capricorn, I'm going to whack back. I'm going to say this respectfully. I have predictions on this channel that have garnered enough views to fill football stadiums because of my accuracy. And the people that I have done those readings for reached out to me personally. I don't need to talk about who I've spoken to. I don't need to talk about the celebrities that I know personally. I don't need to do any of that because I know what I've predicted. I know what I've seen. I know what I felt. So do what you will with that. I do have a very good accuracy rate. I don't talk about it, but it is what it is. I never claim to be accurate 100%. I just go off of what I pick up on and what I feel and what I hear and what comes through in a reading. So do what you will with that information. I just need to make sure that I say that and defend myself because yeah, absolutely not. Please don't be rude. And that's really all that I have to say. And I'm going to end it there and keep it there and no longer go any further on that. Now, I want to further clarify why the Five of Cups is here. I got Ten of Swords. Um, Oracle message is anxiety. People felt as if they didn't really have a choice, and it was obvious to go with Donald Trump at the very last minute. That's something else that I'm picking up on as well. And then Three of Cups. It just feels like there was a conversation that was had of if they win, we don't get this. If he wins, we're able to do something new. We're able to start again. We're able to create a plan. Two of Wands can talk about a plan. We're, we're able to see the bigger picture. We're able to make it happen. So a lot of people last minute made that decision. Eight of Cups. People felt like they didn't have a choice. Five of Cups, Ten of Swords, Three of Pentacles. And that's what I'm getting. I still have this feeling that this is not going to be the last that we hear about this election. I do feel that people are going to talk more and more about wanting a recount, talking about how unfair it was regarding counting the votes. I still feel very strongly about that. Even though it won't change the outcome, it may not change the outcome, I do have a feeling that this conversation, this topic is going to be brought up again. I do. So now I want to just ask this last question. What does the economy, what does the USA look like for the next four years? What does the USA look like for the next four years? And we're going to go from there. The economy, what does the USA look like within the next four years? Um, similar card as before. A lot of people will consider leaving the United States not feeling comfortable. A lot of people will consider migrating and moving. I mentioned that in the world prediction reading where we're going to see a huge migration. We're going to see a lot of people leaving slowly but surely. Okay. Yeah, see the chariot. A lot of people may feel called to leave. That doesn't mean everybody's leaving, but a good amount of people are considering going elsewhere. That is here in the reading, the chariot. And page of swords reverse, part of it has to do with the petty back and forth and the government not agreeing on things. So that could be a theme. This could even mean government shutdowns, people not agreeing on things, all of that going on. He say, she say back and forth that i do see here too um yeah there's a lot of division here some people believe in it some people don't it's just it all depends on what you stand for and what you believe in is that's all i'm going to say on that note 
just kind of seems like a lot of like fussing, a lot of back and forth, a lot of debates. Um, that's something that I'm seeing here. Anything else that we will be seeing within the next four years? Here, font. Another thing I'm predicting is religion. I'm not sure why, but religion is about to get questioned. Religion is about to be the focal point for the next four years. People doing the things that they do because of the sake of religion and what they believe in. That's also something that's showing up. So this could be people that are pro-life and they say that, well, the Bible says this, so I'm pro-life. It can be, well, the Bible is against this, so I don't agree with this. We're going to be seeing that within the next four years, okay? Even to an extent where religion is going to get questioned as a whole. Discussions of religion being in school, that's going to be a topic of conversation. Nine of Swords. I just see people leaving. See all the people leaving? Six of Swords. Okay, anything else that I'm seeing? Show me Donald Trump. Four of Wands. King of Swords. Seven of Wands. Page of Wands. Trump has to be careful of attempts on his life. He has to be careful. He needs more security around him. That is something that I'm seeing here. Yeah, see, Knight of Swords. Um, it's not safe for him 100%. He needs more security. He needs more people guarding him. And notice how there's attempts. And then we have the death card. That's right here. There's attempts. Will he have a smooth presidency? In the beginning, it will be okay in the beginning with the sun and the five of swords reversed, but it does start to get a little bit, um, yep. We're going to be fighting over resources. Resources may not go down in price right away. So there's going to be some discussion regarding resources. There's also going to be another topic of conversation regarding the police reform. That's going to be a thing popping up as well. And just some civil tension. Money will improve, but it will fluctuate. Money will improve, but it will fluctuate. And then we have the Ten of Swords. There's just a huge emphasis of Donald Trump needing to be very, very careful, needing more security around him. And there could be discussions of conflict with another country. Trump calling out another world leader. That's something I'm also picking up on. I'm hearing him calling out somebody, a leader of another country. Even in a way, putting him in his place. Yeah, what's the back of the deck energy? The tower. So, and there is going to be attempts on Trump's life from what I'm seeing. So he needs to have more security around him. And this reminds me of the dream that I had about two years ago. And I brought up the dream. I said it before on the channel. I do not want to repeat it because now that he's president, I don't want to speak anything in, in existence. It's, I don't want to speak anything in existence. I'm getting nervous talking about it. But um, that is what I'm seeing in this reading. Anyways, guys, thank you so much for being present. Leave a comment down below. Let me know your thoughts on all of this. I would love to hear your input regarding this reading. And thank you so much for subscribing, showing a lot of love and support. Please be safe and we'll be back with another reading. Bye guys.